Hey guys, it's been a long time, but here's a quick little lightwave video that I thought I'd post. But we're starting in Photoshop. In Photoshop, I have my paths panel up. I have my shape tool set to path. You can see in the upper left-hand corner. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually kind of tracing elements of the Photoshop of this picture that I want to take into Modeler. And I'm going to use this for reference. So what I'm doing, I'm making a, uh, just a circle shape and I'm putting them where the screw holes are or the reliefs for the screw holes. So I'm just copying and pasting them around. Um, we may, uh, I've already done it, so you won't have to see it here, but you may have to uh, change the resolution, the DPI to uh, 300 or so, uh, depending on the resolution that the picture was taken at, just because it may throw an error at the next step. So here we are, we're just about done with this little bit that I'm doing here. You can see the path is over there. I'm going to export paths as Illustrator, paths to Illustrator. So here we are, we're exporting the paths to Illustrator. I'm gonna give it a nice friendly file name so we can know where to find it and what it's called. And here we go. Now we're back in uh, Lightwave. So we're gonna go to import EPS loader. And we're gonna find our file that we just saved and we're gonna load it up and uh, click uh, okay. And here we have our shape in Lightwave. So we can use this to either as reference or to actually cut uh, to slice things. So hope you enjoyed the quick little tip we had for you today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.